Okay, so once we have everything configured, uh, everything connected, that's what I meant to the, the PC through the FTDI, remembering that this is ground from left to right, ground plus 5 volts. Uh, ground plus 5 volts. Just a second. So that's ground plus 5 volts receiver and transmit from left to right. This goes ground plus 5 volts receiver and transmit. And the two last ones on the right side, which is this side here, stay off. From left to right, ground plus 5 volts receiver and transmit. Once we have this wire to the PC like this through the FTDI we have to configure the GPS so we're gonna go to your center I have it open right now on my computer and we're gonna select the right COM port in this case COM10 and uh, it's red because we have a baud rate of uh, 57600 which is not the default, the default is 9600 so we click 9600 and as you can see it started working we have satellites and it's working so now that we're connected we're gonna go to view configuration view we're gonna go to configuration and here we're gonna click River to default configuration. We're gonna select uh, these two ITC, EPROM, Flash, and SPE Flash, SPI, and we're gonna click Send. Okay, so now it reverted to the default configuration. Let's close this disconnect close the program open your center again and uh, select the right com port com 10 at the baud rate of 9600 and as you can see it's working we reverted to the default configuration so once again view configuration view configuration yeah we're gonna select these two again so that in the end when we save it saves to the prom okay gonna select these two but now we're gonna follow this here and we've already already done the select revert to default configuration now we're gonna navigate to ports on your center so we're gonna navigate here scroll down to ports here they are. We're gonna navigate to ports. On ports, we're gonna select target UART1, protocol in 012 U blocks anime, this one, and protocol out this one, which is already here, and the baud rate, we're gonna select 150 200. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna click send. Once we send, it just cuts the connection. So you must go up here. It's the right home port on the baud rate. We've just changed the baud rate. So now to work again, we must change it to 1150 200. And as soon as we do that, as you can see, it's blinking green again. It has satellites and it's working. So, after this, after selecting selecting the target T1 and the board rate, we're gonna go to messages. Messages, and so we're gonna go to messages and inside messages we're gonna select 
let's see here not Polish so it says to ensure flight control doesn't waste time processing unneeded messages click on messages and enable the fol following on your work one alone with a rate of one when changing message target and rate remember to click send okay so we're gonna go to messages and the first one will be nav Polish push no. messages we're gonna choose here nav p o l this one on you work one with a rate of one and we'll click send okay so second one will be nav dop so we're gonna go here again on you center nav dop nav dop on you work one with a rate of one and we're gonna click send next one will be nav soul so let's go back to your center nav s o l you work one with a rate of one click send and next one is nav v e l n e d so back to your center nav this one you work one with a rate of one and click send and next one will be time utc back to here Time UTC on your work one at a rate of one click send. Next one will be nav SV info. We're gonna go to nav SV info also on your work one but with a rate of five. So let's go to here again nav SV info. Where is it? SV info. On you work one with a rate of five. We're gonna click. Uh, we're gonna click send. Okay. So let's go down on the instructions. Next, we're gonna go to rates. So back to your center. We're gonna go sc scroll down rates and rates we're gonna change this to 100 measurement period period to 100 with the navigation rate of 1 that's what it says measurement period to 100 with navigation rate of 1 so that's what we have here measurement period of 100 with the rate of 1 click send next we're gonna go to the tab nav5 once again nav5 it's here we're gonna change dynamic model to pedestrian yep, that's what it says change dynamic model to pedestrian and click send okay we've changed it to pedestrian and we'll click send mm. next we're gonna go to SBAS I'm gonna go to the tab SBAS which is here No, no. Huh? We must, we must go, go back. Rates. I think I made a mistake here. On nav five, let's go back to nav five. On nav five, I'm gonna go to pedestrian and click send. Then 
SBAS SBAS I'm gonna change PRN codes to auto scan and subsystem to enable and we're gonna click send so we already did an F5 SBAS and then we're gonna we're gonna okay and then we're pretty much done now we're just gonna go to configuration on top and we're gonna save all the settings we did and we must select here E ITC EPROM we must select them all together so that it saves to the EPROM and we're gonna click send and also I'm gonna go up here on tools no receiver action safe configuration having the BBR flash ITC E prom and SPI flash all selected we're gonna click save configuration and um, now we're pretty much done basically we can we can close this window We can close this window. We can go here and uh, disconnect. We can close the program, minimize this. Still have this plugged to the computer. Just a quick test now to see if the settings were saved. Open your center again. Go to connect, select COM10, go to board rate, uh, as you see when the program opens it has a default board rate of 9600, so it stays red and doesn't work, so we're going to change to 11, 115200 which is what we set and as soon as we do that as you see it turns green and it starts receiving signal. So, just to make sure all our configurations were stored, we're going to go to view, to configuration view, and uh, starting from the bottom, if you go to SBAS, it says auto scan enabled, so this is what we decided, it's okay. Rates, measurement period 100, navigation rate 1, uh, ports, everything as we left. Nav 5 pedestrian, okay. Uh, messages, Nav Sol 1, Nav SV Info 5, Time UTC 1 on UART 1, VEL NED 1, so seems that all the configuration was stored. seems that everything's okay so now what I'll do is I'm gonna go to tools and GNSS configuration and I'm gonna save this to a file so that if later I need to use it I don't have to do everything all over again, I just have to upload the file. So that will be GNSS to file. GNSS to file. I'm gonna send it to my desktop. GPS. Uh, GPS A. PM. My configuration in Portuguese and I'm gonna click save and it's saving my configuration so next time I need it everything is here I only have to upload this file instead of doing everything all over again okay
And that's pretty much it, so now you configure one of these, not just plug it to your APM board and see if it works. See ya.